At a given moment, I was also qualified by marketing throughout that journey. Well, after I attended the event, we obviously passed it on to the sales representative. We had a lead. We needed to start to take follow-up actions. As I transition into sales here, what we see is that lead, in this case Ryan Martin, was passed on to a sales representative. And immediately that sales representative had a wealth of the LinkedIn network to start engaging with important icebreakers or even seeing what kind of connections they could use to leverage their network and be introduced and have more in common with them. In fact, they were able to see through team link connections all of the colleagues that were connected to the lead they just received. But we also ask ourselves, why did this lead get picked up so fast? And the reason here is using predictive lead scoring in Dynamics 365 for sales, we actually took the top 10 reasons why this lead became a grade A and why it was automatically assigned to that sales representative with a high priority to follow up. And as this sales representative actually started to follow up, they obviously sent emails, they had phone calls, they had meetings with them. Using Dynamics 365, Office 365, and Azure, we're actually able to track all of those interactions and calculate the health score of this particular lead. And in this case, it was good and steady. We could see the time that was spent by us, but also the time that was spent by them. And as a sales representative, as I send them emails, for example, I can actually see if they opened it, if they clicked on the attachment, if they viewed the link, how many times were they responding to us? A wealth of knowledge right here in my sales process.